The Alabama law enforcement agency says it may have to cut 100 troopers and close trooper posts. Good evening, I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jim Dunaway. The ALEA Secretary Spencer Collier told the Budget Committee this afternoon things are critical. WIET 42 News reporter Michael Oder is live on Interstate 65 in Birmingham with us tonight. Michael, unless they get more funding, this could create other issues like longer lines to get a driver's license. DMV to get your driver's license. Just wait until you have to travel to one of three centers across the state. Here's a map right now of all the driver's license offices that are open across the state of Alabama. If Alia has to cut their budget by 30% like the state is asking, you could be traveling to one of those three places across the state. And that's just the start of many possible drastic cuts. The state of Alabama has 431 state troopers. That's less than half of the 1,000 plus recommended by safety guidelines. That means troopers are working wide stretches of Alabama. Uh, instead of driving, say, 25 miles to a wreck or crash, you end up driving 50, 60, 70 miles. Trooper Chuck Daniel works the northern part of the state. I've driven uh, literally from one Talladega St. Clair County to the Marion Walker line to cover uh, a need for service. I, at that particular time, I was the only trooper in five counties. So. I drove um, two weeks ago from the Tennessee line to Montgomery and passed one trooper. That's unacceptable. Under the budget that you've presented me, we've lost any ground we made. Secretary of Aaliyah Spencer Collier did not pull punches when telling lawmakers how bad he feels the situation is and could be on Alabama roadways. This is not a bluff. If they're going to budget us at $39 million, I have no choice. Let's do these layoffs. Reducing the number of state troopers won't just affect traffic safety, though. It would seriously limit Aaliyah's security presence at large events like races at Talladega Super Speedway or football games at the University of Alabama or Auburn. Even at historic events like the march from Selma to Montgomery. Trooper Daniel tells me it's not a matter of recruitment, it's all about money. The interest is there. Many people want to be troopers. It's just. It's not available at this time. And Trooper Daniel also told me that even if they were to hire new troopers tomorrow, it would take about six months for anyone to notice the difference on Alabama highways because they have to be trained. We're live in Birmingham tonight. Michael Oder, WIAT 42 News coverage you can count on.